This priest blows as much air as a hailstorm. He cannot be allowed to keep spewing. Did you say Eivor! A fine day for being out, no? Soma said I would find you here, Leif. What's your plan? We're ridding the world of a priest who spouts praise for the Elderman and funnels tithes into Wickman's coffers. So the plan is this. We sneak in, gut the priest, and return to Soma. That will get Wickman steaming. How did you come to join Soma's army? We came to England together, sailing under Guthrum. The Great Summer Army, the Saxons called us. When Guthrum left for Wessex, Soma stepped forward to lead. Something I would have liked to do myself. And what would you do if you were the Jarl of Grandbridge? I would run the city in my own way. I would not give Birna and Galen's opinions equal weight. Do you not trust them? I wouldn't say that. It's more. Birna's boots are stuck in the mud, and Galen's are in the sky. If death were bearing down upon us, I worry neither would have what it takes to carry us through. You were there when Guthrum made Soma the steward of Grandbridge. How did that feel? Good fortune for her. When Soma took hold, the silver started flowing and the people started dancing. She knows trait. I do wish I'd been bold enough to put myself forward, to take on the burden and honor of running a city. But that's beside the point. Soma is my Jarl's corner, and I'm her sworn man. No act of any god will change that. As a master shipbuilder, what does your work require? Patience and love. I know each of our vessels as a parent knows their child. But building ships needs silver too. The hard wood, the tough fabrics, the expensive paints, the yellow I use, for instance, that must be imported. A high price for a happy color. I'm certain that's why someone stole my paint some weeks ago. Blasted thief. Good conversation, Leif. Now let's take down Wickman's man. Too right, too right. Wickman's whelp awaits his reward. My warriors will distract the sack. Your eyes, my friend.
Well struck. We made short work of Wickman's man. That we did. You've proven yourself an asset to us. I'll see you back in Grand Bridge. Longer the nails grow, even when the corpse is cold. I've seen it myself. Eivor, my muscle-banded friend! There's a nest of Wigman's men just here. We're going to pick it clean. Every last one. The fewer lies in the bush, the less itchy the pussycat. That's how I see it. How did you come to join Zoma's army? I'd been in England for ages before Guthrum, Ivar, Uppa. Smuggling under the eyes of Saxons and Danes alike. I lied, stole, had my nose broken. Life wasn't easy, but it taught me how to bear the pain. I just laughed it away. When Soma took me in, she saw more than a smuggler in me. I was useful to something greater than myself. Useful to her vision. In a world where few saw you as worthy of trust, she's one who did. Right. And I love that about her. I love... Everything about her. You seem to bring life and spirit to this clan. Does Soma feel the same? If I knew what was going on in another person's head, I'd find life dreadful and dull. But Soma seems to enjoy my company. In what way? Her own way. Just not in the way I'd like. Painful truths are easy to bear when you can laugh, you see. Delight in the face of suffering is an act of rebellion. What do you think of Soma's other warriors? Galen and Leaf? Oh, Leaf's got that raw animal pull. Every time I see him, I want him to climb me like a tree and nest in my armpits. He brays about being honorable, but I've never met a man of honor who starts a fire just to be praised for putting it out. And Galen, he broods like it's an art form. He's got this self-importance that is just so charming. We could talk all day, but these Saxons may fly from their nest. You and I should take a closer look. My men will hang back and come running if things go sideways. <laughs> Fighting beside you should bring a thrill. Happy I can see it up close. Don't get too close. I might black your eye or bruise your head. <laughs> You'd lose your elbow before the bruises showed.
play with besides their cocks! You know that God forbids that form of pleasure! Is that right? It explains much! gonna die! Ah! Now I'm ready! Ah! Ah! 
All of them. Ah, don't they chewed off after some Shame about the smell, though. Men shitting themselves. You fought very well, Bianna. Is that how you flirt, Eivor? Is that how I what? Easy now, Drengir. I'll see you back in Grand Bridge. plan worked. One of Wigman's captains caught him sniffing around Yeroli Ponte. Remember, you don't need to kill him. Have fun. I'll be planning our next move in the Longhouse. Little boy, little boy, where is your daddy hiding? Godless heathens. Grand Bridge is the province of Lord Wigman of Walden. The city is rightfully his. Poor soldier. Doesn't know what heathens do to men of God like him. Hasn't heard the stories, it seems. We can educate him. Look at those ham hands. Could make a nice pair of gloves. And his heart. A heart that beats in a lad like this? Feed a family of six for a week. Let's cut his throat now and water the orchards with his blood. No, sweet lord, no! No, no! He's on the Isle of Ely, Elderman Wigmund, in the monastery, I swear. Hmm, thought that would take till the next morn. Let's tie him up and let him rot away. Oh, fucking Dane halfwits! The Lord will smite you from this land, all of you! May God have mercy on- <laughs> That home thieving snake might have cast a curse on us. I couldn't risk it. Christians don't curse. Wickman's on the Isle of Ely. I'll tell Soma what we've learned. What did Wigman's little man have to tell us? Wigman is at the monastery on the Isle of Ely. Hiding among the church mice. I'll need to plan our attack. But I won't face him while the traitor he commands is still under my roof. So what have you learned? Birna is in love with you. Unanswered love is a volcanic emotion. Birna has always been unpredictable. But she's a warrior grown. She does not let her emotions guide her actions. Vienna used to be a smuggler, hardly an honorable life. There is honor among even the lowliest of men. Danes know that better than most. Leif wishes he had stepped up to lead, and to be where you are now. Leif has a celebrated place in my clan. 
As a shipbuilder, he is without peer, and he knows I know this. Leif disagrees with how you run Grandbridge. This city thrives under me, as a bustling port for his longships, for instance. Leif told me his yellow paint had been stolen. Yellow is a troublesome color to make. He was upset when his stores were stolen. Garlin puts his visions above everything, to the point of fanaticism. Visions are like clouds. Each person sees a different meaning in the shape. And Galen sees an important meaning. Galen told me he was near death when you found him and saved his life. Yes. People thought him cursed. He was adrift in deep water. But don't we all deserve a guide back to the shallows? Your secret tunnel had many footprints nearby, and its mouth was painted with a yellow mark. Whoever betrayed you, they did so by marking the tunnel entrance, then opening the way to let the Saxons in. That's all the evidence I think we need. You've been thorough. Who is the traitor? Leave betrayed you. Are you certain? Leave betrayed you. Are you certain? This will be the hardest thing I have ever done. Stay close by me, Eivor. I will need you. How do you plan to deal with this? As a leader must. My family, my inner circle. Today we make sure what has happened to us will never happen again. We end Wigman's life. But not all together, for you cannot survive the winter with a rat in your larder. Leaf. You have betrayed me, Leaf. Soma, that's not true. A grown man should have a better grasp of his jealousy. It must not drive him to madness and destruction. But with you... Every one of our warriors, our slaughtered people, are dead, because you could not be where I am now. I have only ever served you, Soma. I would never betray my clan, my family. I am a man of honor. And ambition. <laughs> Wigman took you from us long before I ever raised my blade. Clear the body. I feel as if I have torn off my own arm. Wigmund deserves death, but killing him won't make your family whole again. You think I don't know? This is for those who follow. To join me is to take an oath. To break it is to suffer. We make camp on the outskirts of the Isle of Ely. Join us there. She carries the weight of leadership on one shoulder, and the bonds of her people on the other. Now that she's lost one, she walks lopsided. It will take years of toil to rebuild those bonds with her people. Yet she is unburdened now. Lighter. She is a leader, not a friend, Eivor. Her mistake was thinking she could be both. Hunt!
take on all comers! is lost in hell by now. They will have the lost souls of the dead to answer to. Soma. Eivor, you're still with me through all this. Do not think I'll forget. We all need someone in dark times. Now let's collect Whitman's head. Good. At the first sign of trouble, my crew will jump in. Do you see?
Much longer. Good plunder here, but I'll need help. Help me with this. I'm here.
Come here a moment. Raise me to banish me from your minds. Fight in my name. Die for me. Die for me. That is no way to call for sacrifices. Their lives for yours. Is that how it works? Their lives meant nothing. No land, no riches, no titles. But my name will live on. The reputation of a good man never dies. But your name will soon be a curse. So be it. The riches I had in life gave me power. To curse me from beyond the grave gives me still more. Though I die, my order lives on elsewhere, everywhere. Yield to us. Give us what we are owed. The trade, the riches, the legacy, all of it. Yield! 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 If your hell is real, I'm glad you'll get to see it.
before I let go and burn this heap to the ground. Going forward, I must take care. Houses can be built anew. Crops will return with time. Trust. That will be But you have a new friend and ally in me and my clan, so... The end of the storm is well in sight. You're right. I know you're right. It's just... It's difficult to see that end when you're still in the storm's eye. Garland, what are you doing? We're at the mountain's peak, Soma. With room for one alone. So I claim this summit, Jarl's Corner. I claim Grant Bridge. You fucking rodent, Garland. It was you. You let those Saxon insects into our home. You betrayed us. It was preordained, Soma. Like the sunset. Like the bird's flight. You coward. You let an innocent die in your place. You have your sibling in the blood spring at your mercy. How could you waste your family so easily? There is no river of blood deep enough to keep me from my destiny. Only one verse of this song remains. It is my destiny to rule. It is your destiny to die. All of you! We all have our one day. Ah! <laughs> Bring yourself from the mountain top. Bring not to a place that is not yours. Your lies. Stand on the bodies of your brethren. Such a heavy price to pay for one so vile. I climbed to the peak of the mountain. To my... my destiny. Your vision took you as far as the mountain's peak. But there was only room for one to stand. I am the one standing. Please, Soma. My life in the lap of the gods.
You live. Sweet gods among us, Birna, you're alive. <laughs> Galen couldn't kill me. It is not my destiny. Get this Drenger back to the longboats. We're going home. Her wounds are severe, but not seeping. She will heal. I should have guessed it was Galen. If I had trusted my instincts, if I had dealt with all this alone, or discovered him sooner... Galen deceived us all. He was a practiced liar. We killed the wrong warrior, Eivor. A terrible truth that tastes of soot and ashes. Do not think I blame you. I held a blade. The decision was my own. Now, I must explain myself to my people. The cost of war is always high, and victory can be sour. But you have your city back, and Wickman is dead. As may be all trust in me. After all, why should any trust me if I cannot trust my closest friends? Trusting people by their words, their deeds, is as much as anyone can expect. But for you, it bit back like a rabid dog. That's how I feel, exactly. Thank you for standing at my side in this. You have my oath and my arm in the battles to come, Eivor of the Raven Clan. Good. One day I may need them. Back to Ranji. Let's tell her the good news. Eivor, what brings you to my humble shop? May I see your stores? You like the looks of that one? A keen eye for quality. Ready for battle. I will see you later, friend. Fight well, Eivor.
Good day, Eivor. We are allied with the Danes of Granderbridge Shire. Their Jarlskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. Not everything went as planned. Good people died. We have their oaths, but not their admiration. A pity. But we have what we need. Eivor, a word of note. Someone has set up shop outside. A trader, I believe. When you can, ask him his business here. He seems to represent a larger guild. The child's eyes, or the eyeless children? Eyeless children? No, that cannot be right. Ask him yourself. Good day. A new customer. Whether I am or not, I am the one you'll speak with. Randry tells me you are merchants. Ah, hello, hello. Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? We come on behalf of a thousand eyes. Vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child. My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes, the head of our guild, a legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus. You look upon Redda. He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. How have you come to know me? The Thousand Eyes have one thousand years as well, and word travels fast. And what is it I can do for you, or you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to the moors of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in opal. A striking color. Is it rare? Rarer than an honest man in England. You must keep your eyes open for this mineral. It has great value. Now look here! Browse what wares I have on offer. Nothing for now? No matter. My selection changes daily. You will soon find something you like. Now that you are friends with me, you are also a friend of the Thousand Eyes as well. And what does this mean? Observe my outfit, not the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people, my other eyes. Seek them out for trade or contracts. Oblige them, and you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. An interesting offer. Good to hear. Now, if you will excuse us, my apprentice has a tent to secure. You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh, yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. 
good day. Always nice to see a friendly face. So if you see any about, send them my way. What do you have today? Have you got our loyalty rune? For next time. I must take my leave. So long. See you later. Them. Randvi asked me to see you, about finding friends in the cities of England. That's right. London, Jorvik, Winchester, all three are infested by members of the same order to which Kjotve belonged. But their reach extends much further than this. Of all the lands on Earth, I believe England is the most overrun. Do they cause here the same turmoil Kjotve caused in Norway? Not just turmoil. They spread a plague of delusion, teaching men and women to abase and abuse themselves in exchange for power. You have strong feelings about this. Of course. This is the sole purpose of the Hidden Ones, to liberate the body and spirit of man from any unnatural shackles. But we have not operated in England for over four centuries. Since the fall of the Roman Empire, the Hidden Ones have not had a presence here. This absence has given the Order of the Ancients ample room to grow and thrive. Our task will not be an easy one. But with a bureau, Basim and I could begin our work. If you have the time and spare resources to build one, we would be most grateful. I will see what I can do. This will make a fine space for my work, Eivor. Thank you. Well, if your work benefits us, I will see that you keep it, for as long as you live among us. I believe it will, for we have common cause against our enemy. They have dug their claws deep into England. Eradicate them where they are strongest, and the alliances you seek will be far easier to come by. In London, they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk with Ranri about your idea. Get her thoughts. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift I wish to share. A gift? I cannot show you here. Will you walk with me? I will. Lead on. Dear heaviness to your breathing, Hytham. Does your wound still trouble you? It does, I'm afraid. There is a pain in my chest for which I have no remedy. Rest easy, then. So long as your mind stays sharp, you will recover. Of course. Though I am reluctant to displease my mentor. You would risk your health and your life to please Basim. That I do not understand. I should not expect you do. When we first arrived, I noted a shadow of suspicion in your eyes. A doubt. A wariness. Is that a question? No. Only an observation. Are you well enough to steer this boat? I am. Have no worry. It is only prolonged stresses that exhaust me. My energy runs low rather quickly.
And what is this gift you wish to give me? It will not come from me. It is a gift you must give yourself. More riddles. Let me say it what another fun way. You are. My gift is not for giving or taking. It is a way of living. You're still no clearer. It is a thing better demonstrated than described. Then I will wait. Forgive my jest. This gift we call a leap of faith. It is one of our Brotherhood's most sacred rites. It is not a tool we use against our enemies, but an act we embrace to strengthen our resolve. Like your meditation, it centers our minds, steadies our hands, and purges fear from our hearts. And more practically, it aids our movements, in flight or in stealth. You call it a leap, and we are climbing a rather steep hill. <laughs> there it is again, the shadow of a doubt. Nearly there. Our destination is there. I suspect you mean to throw me from this cliff, is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. And spoil the surprise? To perform the leap of faith, you must give yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet it. Believe this, and you will fear nothing. Our deaths are prefigured, weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Good. Then your mind is already attuned to my lesson. I will leap first. On my word, you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. You want me to jump from here? Yes. <laughs> I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Uh... Wait! And watch! Hytham! Hytham! Pig-headed fool! Are you in? Yeah! A perfect fall! And how did it feel? You spoke true. It was madness and vigor. A purging of fear. A gift I give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. And thank you, Eivor, for hearing me out. You called this leap of faith a sacred rite. Do all hidden ones practice this same ritual? As far as I know, it is a rite of initiation that dates back to just before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? I might try if I believed you would join, but that is not my purpose in England. Basim and I are hunting larger prey. The Order of Ancients. Yes. You remember the medallion you took from Kyotve's body? That is their symbol. They are a plague, one we hope to purge from this world. Like us, they act in secret. But their aim is to rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is not unique to this order. Sigurd and I want the same, a land to call our own, and the honor that comes with it. Do not compare yourself to such people. The order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. Yet they sit on a great many of England's thrones. If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan... Then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. You desire alliances. We seek to rid England of its deepening rot. Where these hopes meet, our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless jarls and bumbling thames. Yet look more closely, and you will find a deeper threat. The Order's invisible hand touches all. It shapes everything, instilling its poison into every level of society. From the lowliest fishmonger to the richest merchants, from wealthy thanes to useless kings, the Order has corrupted all. Basim has given me one task here. To locate and eliminate the Order of Ancients in England, in whatever dark corners they reside. 
If we work together towards this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. Exactly. You should begin in London. I have credible reports that the Order is working now to seize the city. I will speak with Randry about this. And while you are there, be on the lookout for our symbol. Centuries ago, the Hidden Ones had bureaus built around England. There were six, I believe. If you can find them, search them well for documents bearing the same symbol. It will greatly aid my studies. I will. Thank you, Hatham. For all of this. to go. Then go in peace. Run up the sail! Run up the sail! No racing whistle. Sail out! We need an epic tale. Here is a story I have not told a man, for it happened only last... I was sharing a mead horn with a beautiful woman. When she, she, her sisters, and her mother all begged for your hand in marriage. Is that how this tale ends? Uh, God. Uh, yes. Were you, were you there? Good. Soldiers dug him over there. Hold on, good scum. Ha ha ha. here, vigilant.
Crush you! Watch my lead! Ha! Hey. Get round the side! I bow to this, but you will not unearth us all. You will not dig deeply enough. We are both a clot and cancer. We sit heavy in water, and yet we spread like a river's current. Are you well? Why would you ask such a question at such a time as this? Beneath your words is something of a size unknown, a mystery. It lurks behind every frail word from your mouth. Fortification! Oh. 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 
Close! <laughs> <laughs> 